Today's video is sponsored by Element. More on them later. Hello everyone, Jennifer L. Scott here and welcome to The Daily Connoisseur. So today I have a what's for dinner video for you. I'm sharing some really great, fresh, healthy, easy to make recipes that I just know that your family is going to love. All the recipes will be written out in the description box down below. So let's have a look at the menu. This is what we're making in today's video. We're making a delicious chicken parsley soup that your family will devour, Mediterranean cod baked in a parchment packet, and a vegan white bean pasta perfect for spring gatherings. I'm also going to show you a chocolate salt smoothie. Let's begin with the chicken parsley soup. I adapted this recipe from Laura Calder's new book called Kitchen Bliss, which shares musings on food and happiness and has a bunch of wonderful recipes in it. Simon & Schuster sent this book to me and I can't wait to try more of the recipes. So right now I'm focusing on what Laura calls her green and white chicken or turkey soup. Due to copyright issues, I can't write the recipe below, but you can follow along as I make it here. And I will of course link her book in the description box. I start off by prepping my vegetables and herb. I'm chopping four stalks of celery, a small handful of thyme, a large handful of parsley, and then I chop a medium-sized onion. Now I do the order of things a little differently than the recipe in the book. In the book she has you saute the celery and the onion first and making part of the soup the day before, but I'm just putting it in all together as I was short on time today. I'm going to use my La Creuset Signature Chef's Oven for this recipe. I love La Creuset. I've had many of my pots for around 17 years now as I received a lot of them from my wedding registry and they still work so well. They're really high quality, made in France, enamel cast iron. This is a large pot so it's perfect for making something like this and I'll leave it linked down below. So into my chef's oven I pour some chicken bone broth and then I add all the vegetables and herbs I just chopped along with two tablespoons of chicken bouillon and a tablespoon of minced garlic, and then I let that cook. So in the recipe, I believe it has you letting it sit overnight at this point, but I wanted to serve it this evening. So I went ahead and put the chicken in after it cooked down for about 20 minutes. This is one small rotisserie chicken that I shredded so it's already cooked. So then you just taste it to see if it needs further seasoning. And then to serve it, I'm scooping half a cup of cooked rice in a bowl and then pouring the soup on top. This stew is delicious. My four-year-old thought it was the best thing ever and he had seconds. It's really fresh tasting from the parsley and the onion, but it also feels nourishing too. And it tastes even better the next day. If you like fish, you're going to love this easy Mediterranean inspired recipe that I concocted myself. I like to experiment a lot with cooking, especially with fish packets, because you can't really make a mistake with them. I often feel like having Mediterranean flavors this time of year, so I'm going to make two fillets in one packet here. I'm preparing my aluminum foil, and then I'm going to put some parchment paper inside and drizzle some extra virgin olive oil. Mm -hmm. 
then I'm going to take a large bunch of chopped parsley and lay that down first. On top of that, I'm laying out two wild-caught Alaskan cod fillets. Make sure your fish is thawed if it was previously frozen. Then I drizzle a bit more olive oil on top of the fish and season it with salt and pepper. As an aside, you can make as many of these as you want to and you can put them in individual packets. On top of the fish, I'm adding some jarred roasted red peppers and some Kalamata olives, cherry tomatoes, and a bit more parsley on top. Then I seal the packets and bake this in the oven at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for about 22 minutes. But you'll have to check and cook longer if your fish is thicker or if you're using a different fish or cut. The nice thing about the packet is it's hard to overcook the fish. It generally stays pretty moist. When it's out of the packet, this is what it looks like and it smells so good, so fresh. I plate this up and I serve it with homemade sweet potato fries, although they didn't really end up in a french fry shape. <laughs> the way I made the sweet potato fries was that I peeled and I cut them and coated them with olive oil, seasoned them with salt and pepper, and I baked them for about an hour at 350 degrees, and I meal prepped those on a different day. I hope you're enjoying the video so far. I'm going to take one minute to tell you about Element, who have kindly sponsored today's video. Element is a tasty electrolyte drink mix with everything that you need and nothing you don't. That means lots of salt with no sugar. It contains a science-backed electrolyte ratio, 1,000 milligrams of sodium, 200 milligrams of potassium, and 60 milligrams of magnesium. Element is formulated to help anyone with their electrolyte needs and is perfectly suited to folks who follow different diets such as keto, low carb, or paleo. As you know, I do intermittent fasting, so I'm always thinking about replenishing my electrolytes in a good way, and Element takes out all the guesswork. I love all of their flavors. My favorite is chocolate. I love it. It sounds like it's weird, but it's so good. I make a chocolate salt smoothie from it. I also love orange. They have a seasonal flavor, grapefruit, that's also really popular. Right now, Element is offering my listeners a free sample pack with any order. That's eight single serving packets free with any Element order. This is a great way to try all eight flavors or share Element with a salty friend. So get yours at drinkelement.com forward slash daily C. This deal is only available through my link. So make sure you go to drinklmnt.com forward slash daily C. And thank you to Element for sponsoring this video. And now I'm going to make a vegan white bean pasta. So here's how I like to cook. I already had the ingredients for the fish we just made, so I wanted to use a lot of them for another dish. I don't like getting ingredients for recipes like jarred peppers or Kalamata olives and then just using half the jar and letting it sit in the fridge. I try to come up with another recipe where I can use those ingredients. So here I'm chopping up half a red onion, another head of parsley, I'm using a lot of parsley this week, and more cherry tomatoes. If you're wondering, by the way, what that beautiful gemstone water carafe is in the shot, it's called the Vita Jewel. It's a water decanter with a crystal gemstone vial in it, and it is the coolest thing ever. I'll tell you about it in another video, but I'll link it down below for now if you're curious. Then in my La Creuset Chef's Oven, I put some extra virgin olive oil and saute the red onion along with some minced garlic. And then I add some of those thyme leaves from the other recipe and two drained cans of organic cannellini beans. I got those from the Thrive Market. Then I'm adding my chopped parsley, tomato, some capers, and I mix it all up.
then I add those jarred peppers and you guessed it, the Kalamata olives. And I let this cook a bit and I squeeze one whole lemon on top. Then I add a bunch of spinach, some red wine vinegar, and some Mediterranean seasoning. Now I know that this seems like a lot of ingredients, but I'm just making this up as I go. And I know that all of these flavors will blend really well together. But if you don't have some of these ingredients, don't worry, you can still make it. I'm here to encourage you to get adventurous with your cooking and go with what you think would taste good. To this sauce, I'm adding some cooked bow tie pasta and stirring it all around to incorporate all the goodness from the sauce in the crevices of the pasta. To plate it, I drizzle a bit more extra virgin olive oil on top and then I top it with crumbled feta cheese. I'm serving this with naan, which I know is not Mediterranean, but trust me, this is a very delicious combo. I wanted to end by showing you that chocolate salt smoothie that I mentioned. I like to make this with the element chocolate flavor. So in my Vitamix blender, I add some unsweetened organic almond milk, vanilla protein powder, I like the one from Ritual, one packet of the chocolate salt element, one whole avocado. If I had a banana, that would have been so good, but we were out of bananas when I made this. And then I add some spinach and almond butter and I mix it all up. This is really thick and delicious and it kind of spilled all over the glass as I tried to pour it. But this is a nice creative way to incorporate your electrolytes. I hope you enjoyed today's video and that it gave you some inspiration for cooking in your own household. I'd like to quickly tell you about my free author newsletter. If you go to jenniferlscott.com and you enter your email at the top of the page and click subscribe, I send out one newsletter a month. This is replacing my blog and I always include a recipe in my newsletter. I'd like to thank Element for sponsoring today's video. Remember, my viewers get a free sample pack with any order. That's eight single serving packets free with any Element order. So get yours at drinkelement.com forward slash daily C. This deal is only available through my link. So go to drinklmnt.com forward slash daily C. And thank you to Element for sponsoring this video. All right, everyone, thank you for watching. Keep calm and remain classy, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.